السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ Brothers and sisters, we are on the final phase of learning the three-letter verb. Next three let- lessons are extremely important with lot of heavy doses of Arabic terminology. But I think you are now strong enough to understand and even to appreciate and enjoy it, inshallah, brothers and sisters. We have studied this in the past, in uh, book one. But at that time, you were very new, so uh, uh, you may not have comprehended everything. But today, inshallah, you'll comprehend everything. Uh, brothers and sisters, every verb in Arabic language, you can trace it back to three letters. Every verb. Okay? 99.9%. Previously, I said 99.5, but I think you can make it 99.9. They are all three-letter verbs. Huh? You can trace it back. Take any verb, you can trace it back to three letters, which is the root. And what is the root of it? The fa'ala. Huh? Fa'ala is the root. Remember? That's the pattern. Huh? Shall I write it down? Or you, you know it, huh? fa'ala. But I think I should write it down. Huh? I will write it down, brother. You know, because somebody who is watching the video, maybe will get it better, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, 0.01% is the four-letter verbs. What are they? Four-letter verbs. I mean, the root has four letters. And the most common example we can say, Tarjama. Huh? Tarjama. He translated. That's four letters. Huh? And then we have Vasvasa. That is four letters. Then we have Zalzala. That is Four letter, huh? and then we have ba sara. These are four letters, but they are very few. Otherwise, ninety-nine point nine percent. May Allah forgive me if I make an error. Ninety-nine point nine percent is three-letter verbs. But it's fa ala, and then we knew from our study that fa kalima has always a fata, lam kalima has a fata permanently, permanently, and ain kalima can have a. Fata dam of kasra, it can have. And when they go into mudaria, also the fa kalima gets a sukun, yaz, and then abu, lam kalima gets a dhamma. This is in the base form, in the first form. And then ain kalima can have anything. And that is why we have six bobs. Remember, that is the reason we have six bobs. Because we don't know. What will be the position of Ain Kalima? Those who speak Arabic, I always say it is in their blood. Remember I said when the child has the first drop of milk from his or her mother, the whole Arabic language is passed on to the child. You know, For us, we have to make a special effort to learn it. They have it in their blood, but inshallah it will go into our blood also inshallah. So, brothers and sisters, fa'ala, okay, fa kalima, ain kalima, lam kalima. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, uh, what happens here when we try to conjugate? Huh? What happens, brothers and sisters? We know our pronouns, huwa huma hum, hiya huma hunna, anta, we know 14 pronouns. They are divided into two groups. Hmm? What I'm saying now, I'm repeating because we did it, but it must have escaped your mind now. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. We have here the red are five. Fiel must have a five. They have a special relationship, okay, in Arabic. The fiel is always with five. Okay? So file in the verb or the ma'air. What are they? File in the verbs are pronouns, okay? Uh, it is all pronouns. See, that's why we have huwa huma hum. Where is the file here? Mustater. Uh, and where is the file here in the here? Mustater. Uh, brothers and sisters, I'll put a circle here. Okay. Now, where is the file here? Alef. You know it, huh? Where is the file here? Wow. 
Where is the file here? Ta. What is on them? What is on them? Sukun. They have a sukun on it. How about sister? The scholars of Arabic grammar have combined these five. Now remember, huwa and hiya, brothers and sisters, the file can be maujud in the sentence, or it can be mustatir. If it is mustatir, then it is the damir. Otherwise, the file can be a noun, proper noun. Huh? Because, zahaba muhammadun. So muhammadun is the file. Aina muhammadun, then you'll say zahaba. Now the file is damir, huwa. Huh? Okay, fine. Now these are called Sakin Damair. And they are Sakin pronouns. Are you with me? This Alif represents Huma. Wow represents Hum. Are you with me? They represent. Huh? And they are Sakin. Sakin pronouns. Are you with me? And then we have starting from Hunna. And when we were learning, I made up a story that we want to invite Hunna to join verb. And she said, you have to sign an agreement. And I said, we have to send the agreement to the lawyer. And the agreement came back. And then we signed it. I made that story to make it a little more interesting. But here, brothers and sisters, today we learn. Why is it that the Lam Kalima gets a sukun? Here, Zahaba. Zahaba. There on, on, on Lam Kalima. There is a harakat. There is a harakat. What happens there? It gets a sukun. Why? Why does it get a sukun there? Because the pronoun that is a fa'il is mutaharrik, sakin, and mutaharrik means it has got a proper vowel sign on it. That is the difference. So whenever there is a file in the verb, which is a damir, if it has got a harakat, then the lam kalima will have a sukun. Are you with me? So you now today you will remember this sakin pronouns and mutharrik pronouns. This you must understand today. And also memorize it. Sakin pronouns and mutaharik pronouns. Eh? Brother, how many sakin pronouns in Madi? Five. How many mutaharik pronouns in Madi? Nine. We have to remember. And whenever mutaharik pronoun will come as a file, brother and sisters, the lam kalima should get a sukun. That's the rule, brother and sisters. So that is why you can see Starting from Hunna, it is Zahab, 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 Zahab. Here it is Zahaba, Zahaba, Zahabu. Are you with me? This thing is very, very important to remember. Huh? The gist of all this is that if the file, which is a Damir, if it is a Sakin, okay, then the Lam Kalima gets a proper vowel. Huh? If the file, which is a Damir, is a Mutaharik, then the Lam Kalima will get a Sukun. Because in the next verbs, this is what will happen. As soon as you have a Mutaharik pronoun, the verb will behave differently. Verb will behave differently. So, Dr. Abdul Rahim, for the first time, mentions in this lesson, mutaharik pronouns. So if you were to read on your own, you will say, what is this mutaharik? Huh? It is very simple. Mutaharik pronoun means that the damir which came, comes as a fa'il has got a proper vowel sign on it. Huh? Can you see? Zahab na. Zahab ta. Do you see? Huh? Ta, tuma, tum, ti, tuma, tunna, tu, na. They got proper harakats. Compared to here, zahaba, sukun, zahabu, sukun. Got the idea? Please keep that in mind. Now we are doing today ajwaf. If 
there is a vowel or ya in anywhere in the verb, then the, we call the verb is weak. Huh? Ya or vowel, anywhere, anywhere, whether it is fa kalima, ain kalima, lam kalima, if it is there, then it is weak. So, we studied before, fa kalima, weak. What do we call that verb? Misal, huh? vajada. So, fa kalima is weak, vajada. Now we come to the ain kalima. When the ain kalima is weak, what happens? Okay? Here are some of the things that I will write down, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Kala, and then I will say, Ba'a, and then I will write down, Nama. Okay, brothers and sisters? Kala is ka wa la ba a is ba ya a and nama is navi ma are you with me brothers and sisters so ajwaf means hollow huh? fa a sound, lam kalima is sound, first radical and third radical have sound letters, you know, and then ain kalima can have ya or wow. But we don't see it because that wow or ya has changed into alif. Are you with me? It has changed into alif. Eh? So kala is kawala, but how do I know? We have to go to Mudharya. When you go to Mudharya, Ain Kalima becomes visible. When we go to Mudharya, the Ain Kalima becomes visible. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters? So Kala becomes Yakulu. Huh? Kala becomes Yakulu. Okay? I will write down, brother. Ya ku lu. Ba'a becomes ya bi u. And nama becomes ya na mu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Now, the thing is, originally, it uh, yakulu, kawala yakulu is bab nasara. Nasara. Yan suru. So it should have been, should have been, uh, yak wulu. It should have been. But it is not. Because that's the way the changes come in the verb. Because these are weak verbs. So yak wulu became yakulu. It's all there in the key. Inshallah, you'll read it. Baya, now this is bab daraba. Daraba yadribu. Baya should have been Yab Yiu. It should have been Yab Yiu. But it is not. It became Yabiu. This signs, vowel signs got changed, you know. Okay. Now, uh, maybe I should quickly erase this, brother. Then I can write down here. Uh, Originally, it was yak wulu, huh? and this was yab ji u. See, now we are going in detail, and this is navima became yan va mu. Now yan va mu change into yanam. Huh? Huh? This is. The change, these are the changes that take place, huh, brothers and sisters. So keep that in mind. Huh? There are only three forms in Ajwaf. Okay, brothers and sisters. Now, what happens? You start from Ka'ala. Start conjugating Ka'ala. Ka'ala, Ka'ala, Ka'lu, Ka'alat, 
Kahalata and then why kulna, brother? Uh, the reason is, I give you the in-depth reason. The reason is, sister, may I ask, that at Kulna, the file is mutaharrik. Are you with me? <laughs> what is the file at Hunna? Mutaharrik. So whenever mutaharrik joined, further changes took place. One change was that the Lam Kalima gets a sukun. The other change was in this Ajwaf, that the Fa Kalima got a Dhamma. When did it happen? Brother Muhammad? Mutaharik pronouns. Now you will say Mutaharik pronouns. Eh? Second pronouns, normal. Kala, Kala, Kalu, Kalat, Kalata. Mutaharik pronouns. Kulna. When did the change take place? Mutaharik pronouns. I want you to memorize this. Mutaharik. And Sarkin. Eh? Okay, brothers and sisters. So, further change took place, brothers and sisters, that here is a Kala. Okay, brothers and sisters. Here comes our Mutaharik pronoun. Okay, brothers and sisters. There is a vowel sign here. There is a vowel sign here. Now, as soon as Mutaharik pronoun came, it got a Sukun. But what is on Aleph? Also Sukun. We cannot have two Sukun. This is called Iltikai Sakinaini. What is the meaning of Iltika? To meeting of them. Not possible. Huh? So, then if there is a meeting of uh, two letters, two Sakin, okay? and if one letter happens to be a weak letter, Vav or Ya, you drop it. But what happens when the both letters are sound? What happens? You can't drop it, brother. Then we got to put our surgeon's gown and we'll do a little more surgery. Huh? That will come in lesson number 29. And, and then how do you describe it in, in grammar? Huh? It's so beautiful, brother. You will love it, inshallah. Huh? Here, we just dropped it. So what became now? Kulna. Okay. Fa kalima get Dhamma. When it is Bab, when it is Bab, Nasara. Otherwise, it will get a Kasra. When did it happen? When the Mutaharik pronoun came. That is the key. Huh? We never used these things before. Now we have to know uh, that it is the mutaharik pronoun. When mutaharik pronoun came, the change took place even on fakalima. And once you know kulna, where are you now, brothers and sisters? You are on 407. Huh? Then you can just, you know, put the car in the top gear. And what will you say? Kulna, kulta, kultuma, kultum, kulti, kultuma, kultuna, kul, kultu, kulna. What are you, what are we doing? Tatumatum, ti tumatumna, tuna. So, so easy, so beautiful, brother. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. Now, Mudarya is Yakulu. Huh? Yakulu. Fine. Let's conjugate. Yakulu. Yakulani. Yakuluna. Takulu. Takulani. Why Yakulna, brother? Mutaharik pronoun, mashallah, mashallah. Excellent, brother Abdul Mukim. Mutaharik pronoun came. Huh? See, we didn't do this way before. Now, we are now. Nahnuka, akwa. We are strong now. We can handle it now. So, brothers and sisters, yakulna. And then, anta, takulu, takulani, takuluna, takulina. Takulani, why takulna? Mudari pronoun came. Eh? Akulu, nakulu. Eh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, let us think now. Eh? How many mutaharik pronouns in Mahdi? Nine. How many mutaharik pronouns in Mudaria? Oh. 
those are mabni, but they are mutaharik. So we are now going at once. How many mutaharik pronouns in mudariya? Two. What are they? Hunna and antunna. That's all. You must remember it. Huh? You will not forget this. Huh? Those are the only two mutaharik pronouns in mudariya. Okay, now I change it. How many sakin pronouns in madi? Five. How many sakin pronouns in mudariya? Twelve. Uh, we know our mathematics. <laughs> okay, keep that in mind. It will help us to do and understand fail very well. Okay, but now we come to ba. I don't know what is inside Alif. It has to be Ba or Ya. So we go to Mudarya. And what happens? Ba Ya B. Ooh, I see Ya there. Okay, that is the Ain Kalima. So now I can say Ba'a, the root is Bayya'a. Kala, the root is Kavala. Ba'a, the root is Bayya'a. Bayya'a. And that is Bab Daraba. Daraba Yadribu. Bayya'a Yabhi'u. Change into Yabhi'u. Fine, brother and sister. Start conjugating. Ba, 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 u, ba, at, ba, ata, and then why be ana? Mutaharik pronouns came. Huh? Mutaharik pronoun came. Huh? Okay, not only it gave sukun to the lam kalima, but it made the changes on fa kalima also. Huh? Because it's a weak letter. Huh? These changes take place only in weak letters, not in normal letters. Huh? So, if it is not Bab Nasara, then it will get a Kasara. And once you know Biyana, and then Biyata, Biyatuma, Biyatum, Biyati, Biyatuma, Biyatunna, Biyatu, Biyana. Easy, brother. Tell me, is it, is it not Halwa Puri? Inshallah, you will find it as a Halwa Puri. <laughs> Inshallah. I found it very delicious. These verbs are very delicious, brother. Now, Nama. Here there is a trick. Nama, uh, and then it is Yanamu, I'm lost. What is it on Ain Kalima? I'm lost. Nama, Yanamu. I don't get a cue that I got in the other two. Uh, but then we got to go to dictionary and we will be told that it is Nama is actually Navima. Uh, the Ain Kalima is Wow, when do I get to know that? When I go to the master. What is the master of Nama? Naumun, see? Uh, Naumun. La ta khuzuhu sinatun wa la Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So see, Quran is the guide for all these things to us. Uh, Nauma, what is Nauma? Master, what is the root? Navima. Are you with me, brother and sister? So when it is a Bab Samia, Navima is Bab Samia, it becomes Yanamu. I don't see the vow. Okay? I will see the vow in Master. Same thing, brother and sisters. Khafa Yahafu. Are you with me? Khafa Yahafu. I don't see the uh, Ain Kalima in Mudarya. Where will I see it? Master. What is the master of Khafa? Khawfun. Wow came out. So this also we will keep it in our mind. So it's very easy, brothers and sisters. Extremely easy. And since you are very strong uh, in, uh, in the Mudharia, five, uh, three groups, remember? Uh, five in your pocket, and then Nun Ata and Nun Jata, and then the Mabni form. So, inshallah, you will find it very easy. Now, the problem starts here again. Kala yakulu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, if I want to make this into sakin, uh, majzum, uh, sister Hafza, I want to make yakulu into majzum because lam has come. As soon as I put sukun, there are two... Sakin, so iltikai sakinaini, iltikai sakinaini. Okay, I cannot have, but then I see 
one of them as a weak letter. So I have got my knife ready to chop it off. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So what will become? Yakul. Yakul. Dr. Abdurrahim has done all these exercises so beautifully, brother. So very, very beautifully. That inshallah you will enjoy it. Now the thing is this, brothers and sisters. Every verb mentioned, you should conjugate. Try to conjugate. At home. Sheets are there. Uh, do at least five from Bab Nasara, five from Bab Daraba, and two from Bab Samia. Uh, at least, uh, at least. More, better for you. 